Welcome to Hack Informer HD, I'm just the Renny, and this is a tutorial for those of you wondering how to mod a 3DS or 2DS, same thing. The only requirement is that your system is between firmware 9.00 and 11.3. Whether you have an old or new 2DS or 3DS, this tutorial will still work for you as long as you're on those firmwares. Now enough talking, let's get to work. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is download the 3DS foolproof pack. So head over to this link, it's in the description below. And just go ahead and hit download. Now I already have this downloaded on my desktop right here. It's a little RAR, RAR file. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and insert your 3DS SD card. So we'll just give it a second to pop up. Yep, here's my 3DS SD card. Now you're gonna open up your RAR file. And inside the 3DS hacks folder, you're gonna, you're gonna copy everything inside the 3DS hacks folder and drag it into the root of your SD card. So yep, there you go, it should look like this. All right, so you can close this zip. We still have two more things to do before we go to our 3DSs. So next up, you're gonna head over to sound hacks. And depending on your system, depends on what you choose. So in my case, I have an American system or a Canadian system, same thing. So I choose USA and I have a old 3DS, so I choose that one, and then I hit download M4A. Now you're gonna go ahead and transfer this straight to the root of your memory card. So, boom. Okay, so once we're done with sound hacks, we're gonna go back to our links and go to other app, the other app payload, which is right here. This stuff right here. So boom, boom. All right, so what we're gonna type in here is quite simple. It's gonna be whether or not our 3DS is an old or new one. So in my case, it's an old one and your firmware. So in this case, if I go on my 3DS system settings, it shows that my firmware is version 11.0.0-33U. So I just put that into here. So 11.0.0-33U. And it's a U and I hit download other app. It downloads. Now I'll transfer this trans, <clears throat> sorry, transfer this to your SD card. So boom, boom. And we're going to rename this to other app dot bin. So I'm going to go over here. Make sure that you can see your extensions on, on your file. So you know, I see like dot bin dot M4A dot 3D X. So anyways, yep. Just hit rename other apps sorry not apps other app dot bin boom all right so, and now we're done you can go to our 3ds so at this point we're going to go ahead and put our um, sd card back into our system and then turn it on One second here we go turn this thing on and we're gonna head over to the Nintendo 3DS sound application on the system. Let's see, where is it? Uh, there it is. 3DS sound up, found it. Hit it, open it up. Give it a few. All right, so if this is your first time opening the app, this is gonna pop up. You're just gonna go ahead and skip these tips. And you hit okay. It's gonna prepare everything. Now, when it's done doing this, we're gonna shut it off. A, we're gonna restart the application. So, boom, close. Okay. And let's try this again. Open it up one more time. All right, let's get these again. Okay, head over to SD card, and then you'll see it'd be Love at Ned Will 2016. Hit play. Get a few of some of you doing stuff. And look at that, we have Homebrew Launcher. Now this may take a few tries. If it crashes, just restart all over again, and just keep trying. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is launch UDS Sploit. Now, it should be at the bottom. So if I look right now, yep, here it is, UDS exploit. I'm gonna launch this application right here. 
get a few. And it's going to say, once it says patching kernel is done, hit start. And it'll go back to homebrew launcher. From here, we can launch save hacks. Do, let's see, where are you? There it is. Give it a few. All right, there you go. Now it's gonna ask you to type in a combo to, to confirm that you wanna do this. So once it's done doing all these checks, you can click okay. So there you go, it's done doing all the checks. It's asking, it's asking you to input this combo to proceed. So in this case, mine is side, down, side, up, A. And let's do a firmware backup or a firm backup, same thing. All right, press A to continue. All right. Okay, so once we're on this screen, we're gonna scroll down to where it says <clears throat> show NAND or user string in system settings. So in this case, it is right here. And we're gonna hit the A button to check it like that. And this is all you have to check. You can ignore everything else. So now just hit start to reboot. And now we're gonna head back to our computer. One, okay, so at this point, what we're gonna do is download the 3DS Foolproof Pack Part 2. So head to the, to the link, it's in the description below. Boom, boom, I already have this downloaded on my desktop right here. I'm gonna open up this RAR file, and we're gonna extract all of these, sorry, we're gonna extract all of these to the root, the root of our SD card. So I'm gonna insert my SD card right now. Wait for it to pop up. Ah, here it is. All right, so here's my SD card. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this into here. Now I'm merging these folders, by the way. I'm not I'm overwriting. So there we go, that's all done. You can exit this out, exit this, exit this, and we can head back to our 3DS now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put back our SD card into our system and turn it on. So just give me a second. And turn this on. All right, just wait for it to turn on. All right, so once it's on, we're gonna head over to system settings. Right there, system settings. And then we're gonna head over to other settings. Scroll over to, where is it? System update. And we're gonna update our system. Now you're, you're safe because we installed B9S and Luma. So you, you're fine to update your system. We're gonna go ahead and update it. Hit okay. Hit I accept. Okay. And wait for it to update. Okay, so as we see here, I'm on 11.5 now, which at the time of this video is the latest firmware. <clears throat> so after I'm done doing this, I'm gonna head over back to the main screen. And we're gonna launch the download play application. Any time now, just give it a second, just take it a bit. All right, there you go. Now the download play application is this one here. So go ahead and open that, launch that. Okay. All right, now that we're on this screen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the left trigger down on the D-pad and select right here. So all at one time. So left trigger, down and select, boom. And here we have the Rosalina menu. Now we're gonna go down to miscellaneous options and press B. Oh, oops, sorry. Do this again. Press A. And then we're gonna, oh God, it keeps, mm, so sorry, something was in my throat. We're gonna switch the H to, um, the first option there. Switch the HB title to current app. Click, hit A again. And there you go. Oh, this is operation succeeded. Press B, B, and B the exit. All right, so we're gonna close this application now. 
Ooh, close it, and we're gonna relaunch it. Here we go. And now we have Home Relauncher. Look at that, very easy and fast. All right, next up, we're gonna launch the um, FBI. There you go, FBI right there. Open, so open source CIA launcher. Go ahead and launch that. All right, from here, we're gonna head over to SD. To, so click A, and we're gonna go ahead and find our CIAS folder. So there it is, hit A again. Now we're gonna select current dictionary right there. So hit A on current dictionary, and do install and delete all CIAs. Now press A to confirm. And just once again, yes. And let that finish up. Okay, all right, we're done. All right, so next up we're gonna do is we're gonna head back. <coughs> we're gonna head back to the main menu. Okay, as, as you see now, we have a whole bunch of new applications installed on our system. So we're looking, right now we're gonna look, looking for a DSP dump, which will be this one right here, DSP dump, you see it? Open up this application. All right, so we're gonna launch this application here, DSP dump. Okay, launch it. All right, so once it's done, it's gonna say here, testing okay, no more action required. Hit B to delete this app and exit the home menu. So we're going to hit B. So to be success. All right. Next up, we're going to launch God Mode 9. So. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and restart the console. Right, so I just, I just turned it off. All right. So while launching the console, you're going to hold the start button like this. So turn it on and hold the start button. And there we go, we have God Mode 9. <laughs> Alright, hit the home menu, or let's see, just waiting for it to boot up. Alright, it's gonna ask you if you wanna back stuff up. Say create, it's gonna ask you if you wanna create a essential backup. Say yes, press A. And then press A to continue. All right, so next up, we're gonna press the home menu to bring up the action. And from here, we're gonna head over to more. And we're gonna find scripts, which is at the bottom right here. And we're gonna see set up CTR NAN Luma 3DS. You're gonna click on that. And it's gonna ask you this. So, so just click, keep, I'm sorry, just keep pressing A. So boom, A, A. And now it's gonna ask you to input a combo. So in this case, mine is le left, right, up, down, and A. Yep, and then press A to continue. And press A again. And now we're done. So we're gonna press, once again, we're gonna press home, the home button again. We're gonna head over to more. And we're gonna head over to scripts. And we're gonna back up our sysnan. So, boom, back up sysnan. Sorry, it's not focused, it's not it's focused. There you go, back up sysnan, press A. This may take some time, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay, so once we're done backing up our system, we're gonna see a screen like this. You're gonna go ahead and press A to continue, and then you're gonna hold R, <coughs> the right trigger, while holding B at the same time, to eject our SD card. So go ahead and do that. So the right trigger right here and B, same time. How I know that it's it's, it's unmounted is right now it says R plus, R plus B equals remount SD card, which just means that it's safe to take out your SD card right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and head back to my computer. 
Okay, so we're back on our computer and we've inserted back our SD card, as you can see here. Now what we're going to do is head over to GM9, and then we're going to head over to the out folder. And you see this right here, The what it could be a, what, a bunch of random things, but it'll have dot bin at the end. You're going to back this up somewhere. This is very important. If your system bricks, you're going to need this. So back it up in multiple places, in online storage, all that fun stuff. In my case, I'm going to put it on my desktop for now. All right, while that's doing that, next up what we're going to want to do is clean up <clears throat> is clean up our folder a bit. So we no longer need all this stuff right here. We can delete it. Oops, sorry. No, I lied. We need boot firm and boot boot dot firm and boot dot 3 dsx We're going to delete all this stuff right here. So boot delete delete we also do no longer need the boot 9 strap folder we no longer need the hb the homebrew launcher folder oops Te te technically we don't need the cia's folder either but I keep that there just in case to install other applications. I like it being very or organized. So yeah. All right. So once we're done with this, we can head back over to our 3DS. Just plug back in our SD card into the con into the console. All right. So at this stage, we're pretty much done, and all we need to do is put back our micro SD card into our system. So to to reboot and save, hit start. And we are done. We now have a fully modded. 3DS.